Several years ago, I started to recognise what is a pretty easy to find and repetitive pattern on price charts. In this example here of BD1, we originally had a burst of volume back here in March uh, 19, sorry, 2018, and there's very little reason prior to that big volume for you to be looking at that particular stock. Once the volume comes into it, uh, then you will find the stock. But to my mind, you're going to miss this first step. So then it's a case of sit back and wait and just observe what is happening. What we had in this case is from the 19th of March 2018 through to 23rd of October 2018, a period of very low volume, but rock solid on balance volume. So if you have low volume, but solid on balance volume, it simply means that every time the price dips a bit, the buyers step back in and accept all of the stock that's being sold. At some point, we're able to box this area of um, price movement and establish a resistance line. In this case, I've had the resistance line set here at two cents for quite a while. Then in October 18, we get yet another burst of volume and a great big burst in price and then we back off again. And even today in February 2019, we could pick up our box tool and very comfortably box off this sort of area here and wait for another entry on a break of around 2.7 cents. Now, a couple of other observations. When the price takes off, you usually only have two or three days to take your money and run. But the main principle I want to point out is the burst of volume on obviously a news event and then the sideways movement afterwards. Too many people get caught buying uh, after the horse has bolted. Now, as best as possible at the moment, we have put that together in the Guru's Toolbox and Frank's Pattern, and we just hit Scan. And today, uh, February 12th, 2019, this is the first stock. And again, we can see here where we've consolidated for a period of time rock solid on balance volume, very low volume. So again, even with these pullbacks from say $4.15 down to $3.40, there's actually been very little selling. The buyers, people who have bought are just waiting for the next piece of news. And the way I would be trading this would be to buy a break of that high at $4.15 and then work out your stops and your risk factor. So that's a quick example of the pattern that uh, is now Frank's scan.